Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rohit and welcome to iClassic. You're probably wondering, I'm in front of a camera this time. This is my first time doing this type of video. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I really appreciate your guys' support. I was surprised to see so many views on my last couple of videos in such a short amount of time. So that lets me know that you guys like the content that I make. So I'm going to try to make it a lot better with these type of videos. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about the downgrade tool that might be coming to iPhones. It's it's kind of like a long process. I'm going to be talking about every in this video um, but before I do that I just wanted to explain that this video is not a tutorial on how to downgrade but it's instead me telling you guys about a potential downgrade tool that might be coming out I know some people might get confused with that and people are gonna be commenting asking hey where's the downgrade tool you didn't talk about that that's not what this video is about so let's get right into this so what this tool does is that it's essentially gonna be using the existing exploit that was found by checkmate and it was found by a couple of developers that go by the name, I think it's Axiom. I'm not sure if that's the correct way to say it. I'm super sorry if I butcher some of these names, so someone please explain to me if I'm saying it correctly, but Axiom basically found this this exploit a couple years ago and this was huge because iPhones haven't had this type of exploit in a long time and this one was really big because this was a boot ROM exploit, meaning that it can't really be patched by Apple no matter how many updates they they roll out because this was built into the phone when users basically got it. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's basically one of those things that Apple users are really happy about when it comes to jailbreaking because it means that things like downgrades and installing Cydia just become so much better. So now that kind of leads me into my next point. If this tool already exists, why is there no downgrade tool out there? And the reason why is because of SCP. SCP stands for Secure Enclave Processor. Every single iPhone that has a Touch ID or a Face ID scanner has this chip. And what this chip does is that it basically stores all of your fingerprint, your Face ID data, all, all of your Apple ID, Data because that's very sensitive information and obviously Apple doesn't want to take that information and instead it stores everything in its own separate little processor it's built inside the phone and that's pretty much the issue is that if we were to downgrade right now which it is possible you could theoretically downgrade from iOS 14 to iOS 10 but the issue is SCP. Apple basically updates the SCP every single time they roll out a new major software upgrade. So for example, if you're on iOS 13, you're not gonna have the same security features that an iOS 14 person has. And every time a new major software update comes out, Apple obviously wants to ensure that you have the best security possible. So that's one of the main issues that we've kind of run into, but there is hope. And I think that we might be seeing a downgrade tool come pretty soon. So with Checkmate, it's fully possible to do a downgrade. Actually, a couple of people have actually successfully downgraded, but they were only able to get into the internal version of the build. That's basically like what happens in the background of iOS. And this was actually done by one of these developers. Their name is SEPOS Fun. SIPO is fun, I don't know if that's the way to say it, but uh, they actually ended up abandoning this project because another developer was doing the same exact thing and they created what is known as Blackbird. The Blackbird SCP exploit is basically a way to hack the SCP and to get into the iPhone and Pangu basically found this exploit in the SCP, which is crazy to think because, you know, Apple has so much security in their phones and the fact that they were able to hack the one processor that stores all the sensitive information it's pretty cool, but again, if you were to theoretically downgrade today, I would probably not add things like my credit card or any banking information onto there. It should just be a device that you're going to use for fun, not something that you're going to use um, as like an everyday device. And a developer named Seguza, I'm not sure if I'm saying the name correctly, did confirm that a downgrade tool will be released. Now, if you have SHSH blobs saved from like years ago, this is gonna be really good for you because you can actually do a fully untethered downgrade and you won't need to worry about having to, you know, plug your phone into the computer every time you restart. But if you don't have SH, SH blob saved, it's probably not really gonna be that big of a hassle. You'll just have to plug your phone into the computer um, every time you restart it. Um, but that's basically them saying that a downgrade is gonna come. It is gonna be possible, but you'll just have to wait for it because I think right now, a lot of the jailbreaking teams, they're prioritizing other different projects at the moment. And one of these projects is obviously bringing Check Rain to Windows. I know that's huge because so many of you guys probably 
have Windows, but um, you don't have a Mac to install check, uh, check rate on. So just give it a few months, maybe hopefully in about a year, it might happen. Um, for those who don't know, actually 32-bit devices like the iPhone 5, they can be fully downgraded, um, but this is also tethered as well, meaning that every time you restart it, you have to plug it into the computer. But talking about this, for example, like Cool Booter, Cool Booter is the, um, is the tool that can downgrade 32-bit devices, but it took so many years to come out. So who knows when a 64-bit downgrade might come out, but based on what the developers are saying, it might be soon. We just have to wait for them to kind of put A and B together. So A would be the downgrade from Checkmate and B would be the SCP exploit. Put one and one together and you have a fully downgraded device. And this is gonna take time. Obviously, it's not gonna be like a one size fits all. Every single device is different. Um, and this is obviously based on your iOS version. So just give it some time. We'll have to do some testing and hopefully I'll be able to make another video on this in the in the coming months. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, talk about downgrading. I am pretty optimistic that it's gonna come out maybe by the end of this year, maybe by the end, uh, maybe by the beginning of next year, but I'll keep you guys updated on what happens. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and be sure to like this video and subscribe to iClassic for more content like this. I'll try to make more videos like this in the coming weeks. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.